Mendy. Can he put it away? And it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. It is pressure cooker time in the Champions League. Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Real Madrid facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. is the lineup for Dortmund. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Sven Botman Almada Chouameni There's a slide rule pass Well deemed to be offside by the merest of margins Well it's very close to being the perfectly timed run But whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside
using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in Oh, the... Derek, what a moment this could be. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal in the contest. the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Baku he could pick out a teammate can he find the net determined defending oh a vital interception And Borussia Dortmund could be onto something. This could level it. Oh, he's missed it. He'll be kicking himself. Well, the opportunity presented itself, and they really should be level. They have to be more composed, more clinical if they want to get back into this. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Could be a chance to break here. Martinelli. Might be a chance here. And just like that, it's gone in. Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Mendy. Matteo Guendouzi. Sobosloy. Gvardiol. And unable to keep possession. Attending to his defensive chores. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But really sticking to the task defensively. Now can they counter clinically? Hakimi. Vinicius Jr. Just the challenge that was required. Almada. Marcinelli and cuts inside and players waiting in the centre he's got to score it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. The first half here comes to an end.
second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Determined defending. Pedro Gonzalez. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Almada. Oh, getting the ball forward. And nicely struck. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, they might be onto something. Baku. Oh, managing to beat him. Must be. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, still an issue here. And problem solved for now. Surely the equaliser. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Emile Smith Rowe. Well read to win possession back. Vinicius. Fifteen minutes left for play. Really good challenge. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And running in behind. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Aurelien Chouameni. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Marcinelli. A good and fair challenge. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Pedro Gonzalez. Martinez. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. And there goes the final whistle. Well, we had goals, we had entertainment. But, Stuart, it's all now a matter of what happens in the return leg of this semi-final. Yeah, it's been a really good contest. We saw some great attack in play, plenty of chances and some goals as well. Hopefully we get a similar game in the second leg. It's set up perfectly, isn't it?
one man the focus of attention. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. And welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We're in Dortmund, famed of course for the famous Yellow Wall. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on Real Madrid. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi final. Pedro Gonzalez. Now with Genduzzi. No danger here as he runs at them. Tremendous block. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Options in the centre. An alert piece of defending. Aurelien Chouameni. Nuno Menge. Oh, nice ball. Borderline offside, but correct. <laughs> Borussia Dortmund have given it away. <laughs> Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. And that's an important intervention. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Well, the shot more than decent, it had power, just couldn't find the target. White. Niklas Zule. Can he take advantage? Here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper is near post 
has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post cover for me. Stands at 3 2. Giovanni Reina. Sane. Oh, it might be. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Hang on to the ball. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Must be! Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Vinicius. Mendy, can they convert? Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. In terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Real chance. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Vinicius Jr. Cross, lacking guile and accuracy. Jonathan David. Emile Smith Rowe. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Sane. Now with Genduzi. Oh, he looks threatening. Will he find the net? And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Seven goals on aggregate. 4-3 is how it stands. A more live La Liga action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid and they'll be taking on Tenerife. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Substitution it is for Dortmund.
Now, what can they do from here? Mendy. Can he put it away? And it's in! As they tighten their grip on the tie! Festival of attacking football, 5-3 on aggregate. Sané. Vinicius, big chance! And able to close down the shot. Who can he pick out? Well, no danger now. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Nuno Mensch. Mount takes the shot well that wasn't a million miles away well they're getting closer but they need to take one of these chances room to manoeuvre on the wing in search of space a good and fair challenge. Chance here. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Throw in here for Borussia Dortmund. Well, what a brilliant save that was. How did he keep that out? He could pick out a teammate. Oh, good looking run. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Sané. Now with Genduzi. So Bosloy. Could be troublesome. Chance to finish. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Plenty of work for the scoreboard operators on this tie. 6-3 on aggregate. Almada. Into the advanced position. Good use of advantage for Dortmund. Baku. Just the challenge that was required. strong in the tackle Aurelien Chouameni Mount Can he finish? And it's a double for him in this game No way for the opposition to contain him And no wonder he's off celebrating
Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. result was ever in doubt. They were the better team in nearly every department over the two legs and deserved to go through.